everyone, I'm Katie Colbreth and I am a Therapeutic Recreation Specialist with Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation. First of all, thank you so much for watching our virtual programs. Make sure you follow us on social media and hit subscribe on our Mecklenburg County YouTube channel for updates. Now, welcome to virtual cooking class. We are going to cook a five ingredient meal, super simple, super easy to follow along and also discuss a healthy eating topic each week. In a few minutes, I'm gonna show you the exact ingredients you need to cook. However, we are also going to post the recipe so you can head to your local grocery store, pick up the ingredients and follow along. Now let's get started. Okay, everyone, this week we are going to play a little game of this or that for our healthy eating topic. So I will give you two options and we will discuss which one is healthier. Ranch or hummus? So, hummus is a great source of protein and a much healthier snack than ranch. Hummus contains about 52 calories per serving while ranch contains 280. There are also 28 grams of fat in ranch and three grams of fat in hummus. So when you're reaching for a dip to dip your potato chips or bell peppers in, let's reach for hummus. Next up, just like I was talking about, potato or bell pepper, which one should you pick when you are dipping into hummus? I would definitely say bell pepper. Potato is a starch and a pepper is a healthy vegetable. Try to replace your potato chips, even if they're homemade, with a pepper for dipping if you can. Whole grain bread or white bread? Definitely whole grains. They are low in fat and high in fiber. They also contain complex carbohydrates, which help you feel fuller for longer. All right, apple or apple juice? We're gonna go with apple for this one because when juicing a fruit or vegetable, you lose a lot of the nutrients that a full fruit will have in it. So I recommend to eat the whole fruit. All right, frozen yogurt or ice cream? This is a trick question. It's actually neither. Despite the word yogurt, which throws a lot of people off, ice cream and frozen yogurt have about the same amount of sugar. Okay guys, today we are going to make a berry chicken summer salad. So we have our chicken breast that we are gonna saute in a pan with some seasonings. I have oregano, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, but really you could use whatever you like, however you like your chicken. We have some walnuts to throw in there, some blueberries, some strawberries we will dice up, and spring mix. So we're gonna throw it all together and hopefully it'll be delicious. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and make our chicken. So I'm gonna dice this up into cubes so we can saute it in a pan. Um, and after I dice it up, I'll also season it. So I'm just gonna take my knife, just start cutting away. And you can use any kind of chicken. Um, it's really your preference just because we're dicing it up and everything. But this is just thinly sliced uh, chicken breast. Garlic powder, a 
nice garlicky taste. Onion powder. Okay guys, so I have our pan on about medium to high heat and you can see the chicken is starting to cook. So I'm just going to keep sauteing it until all of it is cooked through. So as you can see, some of the sides are getting start to get cooked. So we're just going to keep on stirring. And this also helped to stir the seasoning around all sides of the chicken. Alright, so while the chicken cooks, I'm going to start assembling our salad. So we want to make sure to rinse our lettuce. So I'm take this over. And give it a good rinse. I'll try not to lose so much. Okay, so I've just picked out a spring mix, but you can use um, Whatever lettuce you want, you can use spinach, arugula, iceberg lettuce, whatever your preference is. Um, so we're going to start out just by tossing this pre-rinsed lettuce into our bowl. Okay, as you can see, our chicken's almost done. We have some of these bits that are starting to get golden brown. Some that still have a little bit of heat in them, so we're just going to keep sauteing. All of them are that nice golden brown color. All right, guys. Next up, we want to make sure that we rinse our berries thoroughly. So, luckily, we can rinse them right in the container because there's holes at the bottom that the water will just drain right through. Our berries. Um, grown in the field get a lot of pesticides, you know, they come straight from the dirt. So we want to make sure that we get all of that rinsed off. up these strawberries um, and don't worry I washed this cutting board and this knife after the chicken so I'm gonna take the strawberry and just cut off the top part and then because we're eating it in a salad I'm gonna dice it into quarters dice it in half and dice each one of those in half so we are eating big chunks of strawberry in our salad that a few more times make sure that we're practicing knife safety, really watching what we're doing so we don't cut ourselves. Okay, I'll just do a few more of these. All right, you guys, we got our strawberries, our blueberries, and our walnuts in our salad. I don't know about you guys, but it's been so hot lately that this looks delicious for lunch. Our chicken is also nice and cooked well seasoned, so we'll add it to the salad and I'll show you the finished product. And voila! So last thing we'll want to do is just to toss our salad and you can add anything else you want to it. That's why salads are so easy. You can add some cheese, you can add whatever dressing you like. My favorite healthy easy dressing to make is just olive oil, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, and some salt and pepper. Mix it up, but whatever your preference is.